Hello, I'm Minister William Edward Turner, your pre-engagement coach, and I want to talk to you about pre-engagement coaching element number four, the element that eliminates emotional terrorism. God said as in his word in 1 Thessalonians 5 in the King James Version, prove all things, hold fast to that which is good. In 1 Thessalonians 5, 22, the Message Bible it explains it even deeper. Don't be suppressed. Don't suppress the spirit and don't stifle those who have a word from the master. But on the other hand, don't be gullible. Check out everything and keep only that which is good and throw away anything tainted or evil. <clears throat> Eliminate emotional terrorism. To identify emotional terrorism in the natural, sometimes it's difficult because it's all around us in society. Sometimes even we are the terrorists. And we do this by self-destruction. Self-destruction is an act of destroying or undermining something in a covert manner. When this destructional behavior is directed at yourself. Self-sabotage erodes your self-confidence, your self-esteem, and affects your relationship with others. With every failed attempt to do the thing you want to do, you prove to yourself that you can't or you shouldn't do it. This lowers your self-esteem. Here are some uh, things that the enemy, that is me, may focus on. Traditions. Like, nobody else is doing it this way. This is the way we've always done it. Superstitions that we may have. Uh, you don't do this before you do that. Or you got to have this particular thing on. Or if I don't have these things, uh, I'm going to not be successful. Uh, pride. Uh, power. The seeking of power to be in control, to control everybody. To have that status, that high up office, even self-negative talk about I'm not this or I'm not that. When God created you and you are fearfully and wonderfully made and marvelous, hallelujah, then you need to internalize what God says, not what you say that is negative. Uh, Andy Stanley, in his book, Enemies of the Heart, point out that guilt, anger, greed, and jealousy are also traps that will trap you in and keep you doing, keep you from doing what you desire to do. Uh, in God's word in Colossians 2.8, uh, in the King James Version, it says, Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. After the traditions of men, after the rudiments of this world, and not after Christ. Unforgiveness is another form of self-sabotaging behavior. God's word says in Matthew 6, 14 through 15, King James Version, For if we forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will forgive yours also. But if we forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father Forgive your trespasses. Not forgiving can do more damage to you and your relationships than anything else. Uh, <clears throat> it's, uh, as I've said in some of my other videos, that I need to be sure that I forgive because I know I'm going to need forgiveness sometimes in the future and it could be the next few seconds. Uh, and then, of course, there's the enemy that we have, who's the father of lies. And it says in John 10, 10, the thief comes not but to steal, kill, and destroy. Our spirit and mind and heart must be equipped and ready for the fight. In Ephesians 6, 10 through 18, the Message Bible, it says, and this about wraps it up. God is strong, and he wants you to be strong. So take everything the master has set out for you. Well-made weapons that are made of the best material 
and put them to use so you'll be able to stand up to everything the devil throws your way. This is no weekend warfare. You'll be you'll walk away from and forget in a couple hours. For this is for keeps, a life or death fight to the finish and against the devil and his angels. Be prepared. You are up against far more than you can handle on your own. Take all the help you can get, every weapon God has issued, so that when it's all over but the shouting, you'll be able to stand upon your feet. Truth, righteousness, peace, faith, and salvation are more than just words. Learn how to apply them. You'll need them throughout your life. God's word is an indispensable weapon. In the same way, prayer is essential in this ongoing warfare. Warfare. Pray hard, pray long. Pray for your brothers and sisters. Keep your eyes open. Keep each other's spirits up so that no one falls behind and no one drops out. I say ask yourself this. Is there emotional terrorism in your life? Answer these questions. Number two, who is the emotional terrorist? Number three, what will you do to eliminate emotional terrorism in your life? As I say, these elements that we have here in the uh, element number three assist the couples assist you in establishing and understanding that unity in your relationship uh, will bring you closer to God and is essential for your success. Now, if you have any questions, I ask you to put them in the comments. Uh, put them in the comments and I will answer them. Uh, so, uh, no question will go unanswered. <laughs> so, yeah. So, remember to like, subscribe, and share because there is someone who needs the wisdom from today's session. I'm Minister William Edward Turner, your pre-engagement coach, and until next time, blessings eternally.